Interviews at Oxford University can be a daunting prospect. It's hard to know what to expect and how to separate myth from reality. So here's our take on what to expect in an Oxford interview. Oxford interviews are a little bit different in that you'll probably stay in a college for a few nights. During this time, you might have a couple of interviews at that college, and depending on your subject, you might also be interviewed at one or more other colleges. For the interview itself, you'll probably be in a tutor's office that looks something like this. Interviews are usually conducted by two or more academics, and will probably be somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes long. By this point, you'll already have provided us with quite a lot of information, whether that's a personal statement, written work or admissions tests. So your interviewer might ask you something about this just to get the ball rolling. Alternatively, you might go straight into the main part of the interview, which will be looking at some kind of academic material. This might be something you're given beforehand or something you're presented with during the interview itself. Now, depending on the subject, this academic material might take any one of a number of forms. If you've applied for a subject like English or history, it might be a poem or an extract from a book. Whereas if you've applied for a maths or science related subject, you're more likely to get a diagram, a graph or an equation to solve. Obviously, every interview is different, but let's take a look at a non-subject specific example. Let's say we're asked to analyse this image. You should probably be able to tell that it's some sort of map. Now, the interviewer might ask you to discuss the features of the map, seeing whether there's anything that stands out or makes it different from other maps that you've seen. The interviewer isn't going to keep you guessing, though. In this example, they tell you that it's data from Strava, an app that cyclists use to map their bike rides. From here, the interview opens up to all sorts of questions and will be led by your responses. You might talk about routes and roads shown, population and activity, or how the data might be useful. More importantly, it's about seeing what you can do with something that you're probably going to be unfamiliar with. It's all about thinking out loud and articulating your ideas and opinions to the interviewer. And this applies to any subject, whether you're analysing a poem or a case study or an equation. So with that in mind, we've got a few do's and don'ts that you might want to keep in mind for interviews at Oxford. Do show that you're engaged with and enthusiastic about the subject above and beyond the school curriculum. Don't worry about what clothes to wear. Just wear what you feel comfortable in, whether that's jeans and a t-shirt, a suit or somewhere in between. Do flag any additional needs ASAP, whether it's a disability, health condition, learning difficulty or any other additional needs, let your college know as soon as possible so they can make the necessary arrangements for you. Do think out loud. Tutors want to see how you get from A to B, so talk through your thought processes and let them know what you're thinking. Do practice speaking about your subject, whether that's with a teacher, a family member, a friend, or even in the mirror. Don't be afraid to get it wrong. Interviewers don't expect you to know everything. They want to see how you handle new information, not that you've memorized your entire syllabus. Do think of it like a practice tutorial. The interview format is designed to emulate the tutorial system, so it's a chance for you to see whether you'd enjoy this style of teaching. Make sure to visit seh.ac forward slash apply for more information. And remember, this is just one take on the interview process. Every applicant and every interview is different, so try not to get too hung up on any expectations or preconceptions that you might have. The interviewers want you to do your best, so just show them what you can do. And good luck.